Hi, this is Catherine Rosen with Boygan Geek here at Spiel 2018. I'm joined by Kristen Hildenbrand from Amigo and he's here to talk about Xcode. So, please tell me about the game. The game. Um, let's start with the designer. The designer ah, is yes, Kaspar Lapp. Okay. Maybe you know him from uh, his uh, last year game, Magic Maze. Aha, of cooperative course. Cooperative game. Yes, yes, yes. It's a big favorite. A very quiet cooperative oh, game. Oh, so quiet. And we have exactly... It's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and here we have uh, the opposite. This game is a very loud cooperative. Game. Interesting. In Xcode, you try to um, exchange cards between the uh, between the players because you collect cards to lay down um, combinations of cards. So uh, in the base game, um, you, for example, have to uh, have you have to collect uh, uh, three times a seven, three times a five, and so on to lay down combination of three cards onto these 12 fields. If you manage that before the sand timer uh, runs out, three minutes, as in Magic Maze, um, if you manage that before the sand timer runs out, then you win the game. If the sand timer runs out. runs out before you lay down all 12 combinations, then you lost the game. Uh, what are you doing? You have several hand cards, so um, let's just put them here. I see they have both a number you have, you have and cards, also You have cards arrows. with uh, uh, um, from uh, zero to nine, and you have uh, these two symbols, mm -hmm. uh, and they have arrows on them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, all players play simultaneously. You can draw cards from the draw pile. You can uh, um, um, discard cards as many as you want, and so on. And that's the main part. You exchange your cards with your two neighbors. Ah, okay. And here's a little restriction. If I want to give you a card, I only can give you a card with a with an arrow in your direction. All right, so I can only and give that to the person to my you left. You have to give me at the same moment a card with an arrow in my direction. So, so if we exchange we swap exactly. Like this. We, we swap exactly two cards. And uh, as quick as you have, for example, here are as quick as you have, for example, a set of. On three, three cards of the same, of the same card. numbers, then you can put them down on the. All right, so you need the full set of numbers the before you can place them out on the place. board. Exactly. Okay. And so you try to be as quick as possible. Three minutes. That's not very long. So it goes so much faster than you think. So we have a few of sand timer cards. Uh -huh. If you have three sand timer cards, then you can place them over here. You put them on the corresponding place, and you flip exactly. So you should that do, of course, short before the sand timer runs of out. Of course, of course. This is the base version. I see there's a few other spaces here as well. Here are, I'm sorry. Aha, uh -huh, the draw pile. It's the draw pile and oops, the discard pile. If the draw pile runs out, then you just take the discard pile and uh, flip it for mm -hmm. a new draw pile. This is the base game. Mm -hmm. uh, in the base game, uh, you have four levels you can play. You play with uh, less sand, sand timer cards. You play with less choker cards or white cards. You play uh, with, um, you have to put down four cards instead of three and so on. So four levels to learn the game. After to four... Learn the game? To learn the game. Now I need a box. Inside the box... Top secret boxes. We have several little chambers for additional materials. After you have finished all the, uh, all the learning missions, you take the key. There's a key inside the box. Very nice. And you open <laughs> you open the first chamber. Very nice. Here inside are, new let rules. me show you one thing. There are cards inside. There are new missions, new jobs you have to do during the game inside. There are different materials inside. And of course, there are the rules for these. Of course. Again, several levels getting harder and harder and, and harder. once you finish that one, you can then open the next box. The next one and the next one. So you play through uh, a lot of different levels uh, with a real increasing difficulty until you have uh, missions to fulfill that are very, very hard. I can imagine. And if you have finished all these things, you can combine uh, whatever you want with each other and play and turn it into a new game. With all the things, with all the things you like most, you can combine that to a new game. Fantastic! That's well, thank you so much for. Two to eight players. Yes, I see it says eight Thank here. You. Two to eight players. Um, so a lot of fun to be had for a good group of friends. It is. That is Xcode from Amigo.